Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, so today we are going to quickly talk about um, this one. So I think it's about uh, these storms, right? So these. Uh, yeah, it's a bit hard to say, but um, okay. So so first, uh, thanks um, to. Yes, um, I I totally agree that uh, yeah. Usually we now nah, we don't we don't we don't need to model them because uh, we can quite easily find some model. So for example here, so um, so this is a website, so we can just find. So yeah, I believe there there are other uh, website you can where you can find download all these files as well, right? So, um, so I ha had a try. So this is what I get. So yeah, so it's very simple basically. So first you need to so what you need to do is so first go to um, try to create a family. Okay, so here uh, I'm going to use the because these are more site uh, category, right? So just create a family first, and then go to insert, okay? And here import cat. So what we need to do is we need to find out. Uh, please ignore this. Uh, where is my folder? Uh, hang on. Here. Okay, so uh, yeah, so it's here. So first, thing we need to find out the cat, the the type of um, families that uh, uh, Revit support. Like, so you can see we can, you know, D, uh, DWG file, DXF format file. Yeah, not really sure about that. Format is, uh, yeah, I think it's all the desk, right? So. S S A T. Uh, not sure about that oh, object. So this is quite common one. So I was Rhino file, 3 gm SketchUp, S K P, S T L. Oh, what's S T L for? Uh, yeah, can't remember. Anyway, so I think the most common ones ones are D W G, of course, and uh, S A T. I think it's quite uh, common. O object OBJ is a very common one. Okay, so now we just uh, have yeah, just have a look here. So see what fam uh, file uh, um, type uh, we can use, and then you can just go to some uh, website. So for this one, so I just click on this link, and then so you can see there are all these uh, f uh, type file. Uh, See OBJ, so there's OBJ, OBJ, FBX, uh, 3D Max. Um, yeah, so it looks like OBJ is the most common one, so which we can use. Okay, we can use. So uh, yeah, so what what you can do is just uh, download the, those file, OBJ file, and then you go to Revit, and then what? So you just need to go to uh, click on import. So I'm going to just use one of these. Okay, so I just downloaded both previously. And you just need to, I think everything here is fine, but just one need to, uh, yeah, this this one's not quite, uh, yeah, not sure yet. yet. Um, just need to, uh, let's just have a try. So for example, I just put in a meter, for example, and load this file. Okay, so you can, you can just have a look. Oh, this one. So maybe I'm not sure. I'll just try to. So this whole yeah, it's 1.8 meter, about well, 1.9. That that looks fine, but looks uh, currently because we are in floor plan, so it looks like uh, it's not. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's probably yeah. We need to rotate this one, so you can just go to elevation. So here, so we can rotate R uh, O and uh, just. Oh, hang on, what's going on? R uh, O, 90 degree, yeah. And maybe just move it a little bit. So, yeah, roughly sitting on this uh, reference level. And then also go to floor plan. Ah, uh, so so this file, so this specific file, there are there are uh, eight eight rocks. Um, I'm not sure how to. Yeah, you can change it to shade SD, so you can roughly see the shape 
oh, it looks like it's upside down. That's fine. So go to uh, elevation again. So rotate this one by 180 degrees. So, and yeah, let's have a look again. So this is uh, this is top. Yeah, that's that's oh, it's still not quite right. Anyway, so yeah, but if yeah, probably because yeah, maybe we should go back one control Z. Uh, yeah, so it looks like some yeah they are not on the yeah see that flat should be the the bottom of the rock but uh, yeah I don't know <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just rotate this again R O one eight and yeah let's just leave it so this one um yeah i'm not sure how maybe we need to have use some other uh, software to separate them uh yeah if if you you can't um separate uh, uh, yeah probably uh, we can't we can't yeah i don't know how <laughs> so yeah just uh maybe just go, uh just try google and see if there's a uh, um, there must be some software you can you know you can open this file and sep just separate them or you can just some try to download you know individual rocks and then you can just create individual individual um, uh, family right so and then so once you uh, you're happy with this family you can load into your project okay so see that's it uh, looks like are you uh, this one is it same uh oh is it this one yeah F yeah so y y you can when you import import cat so for example i'll pick that one okay and you can change so if you find the the size too big or too small you can always change i couldn't find a way so usually when we import cat drawing like if it's a dwg or uh some other like a dxm yeah other 3d uh, cat file so there's an option to you know change the scale oh this one's very small okay so i'll just move it yeah so usually if it's a cat drawing dwg file so you can just go edit type right so you can select edit type and then there's a like a unit you can change you can change to you know millimeter or you know uh, inch, and then you can have you can type in a number for the scale. But I I noticed that uh, for this one, so once you import, there's no there's no option, and we um, there's no option to change the scale. See nothing here, uh, and also we can't uh, scale it. See it's gray out. So which means, yeah, so you have to just. Uh, yeah, if, if the size is wrong, you just have to do it again. So just pick a more, you know, reasonable <laughs> unit. In, so if inch, so previously I use inch. Uh, yeah, so uh, maybe we need to use meter. So, oh, no, that's too big. So maybe feet. Yeah, oh, this one. Okay, maybe try uh, feet. Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So this is how you can scale it. Not really scale it, but uh, choose the the proper, the the right, the correct unit when you import. So again, so this one looks like um, it's uh, it's on it's vertical. Uh, so we need to go to uh, elevation. Oh yeah, which one? Left. Yeah. So rotate it. Uh, oh, ninety degree. And then just uh, move onto the rough uh, line with the. Let's just really delete these little rocks. So go back to 3D view. Yeah. So that's that's all. So once yeah, of course when you do this one, you probably want to uh, create individual. So you just download individual rock uh, family, and uh, yeah, create individual one, and then you can load into your project. Okay. So it's quite straightforward, right? But just be mindful um, because all these uh, like uh, uh, geometry, some of the, these families are quite heavy. So you can tell from the file size. So some some of them when you download, it's like uh, you know three hundred uh, MB a rock. 
<laughs> so which is very big. Usually a, a project, a complex, a complex, um, a complex uh, project is only you know maybe just you know uh, I mean a residential project is only like two hundred or three hundred uh, megabytes that uh, you don't probably don't want to you know place you know hundreds of rock these rocks into a project and then big make it you know. Uh, more than one gigabyte so okay so this is pretty much it so let, let's recap so first create a new family okay so just choose choose a proper uh, category so usually I for this I would just use a site because it's more site related or you can if you're not sure just generic model will be fine so in in case you wanted to cut you know sometimes you cut you have to use a, a, a generic model or yeah so to make it cuttable right so you, it won't, if you wanted to create a section and see you know cut this rock you might need to I'm not 100% sure but usually I will try always try generic model and then once we yeah in the model we just go to insert link CAD and so you can just link whatever you, model you have you can download so it's either either OBJ file or you know a Rhino file or SketchUp file okay so just download just link that I uh, don't have anything there or oh, maybe I have another one here <laughs> load so just pick just try the, your luck pick the category oh sorry uh, pick a unit and then you can just roughly tell the size so usually uh, looks like uh, yeah dimension but uh, we can't really dimension uh, dimension this one so you can always you know draw a line for example roughly oh that's 700 yeah about right and then we just need to go to make sure oh, the so this is elevation right so you probably don't want this uh, rock to uh, standing like this so maybe just rotate it by 90 degree on the yeah uh yeah let's have a look in 3d view you can turn on the sh shade or type sd to roughly see the the geometry of this rock i think that's quite good and go to maybe left so maybe you want to rotate oh hell yeah. uh oh yeah sorry my my mouse is not working properly it's always double click when i click only once so yeah it's almost yeah i think it's uh end of life almost yeah so yeah so this is a rock so it's quite nice rock perfect okay so now i'm quite happy with this and just uh, roughly just make it move it to the center so yeah all good and then we can just save you can just save as a file in your light library and then you can load this one into the project All right so oh do i have a project there this one oh it's not a project it's a family sorry yeah but but it's the same right so you can ju let's just create a project maybe we don't even need a uh, a, a template just an empty project and then load this one into this project and that's it so you can place multiple then no problem but yeah you can probably just create some some uh, variation different different uh, look rocks so you can place in your project All right so and I think this is it and of course if you don't we really don't want uh, you might say ah I don't want these ones they are too realistic so can we have some more you know low Poly, poly, what's that called? Low polygon uh, um, family. So yeah, so we can actually build, some, uh, create some uh, sh those type, uh, those shape quite easily. So let me just show you. I just maybe just use generic model, right? So you can just do uh, even just here. So blend, I I would say. So just do uh, some shape. So for example, um, I'll just create a random shape so I'll just do a so first I'll do a base okay so this is the base of the a, a rock I'm going to create and then click on top so then this is roughly you know middle middle point okay so I'll just uh, do a slightly different shape okay so and then finish it now let's go to 3d view and then 
Okay, so this is my half of, half of my rock, right? Okay, I'm happy with this. I'll Control C and then go Escape and go along to the same place and drag this up. So now we have another half. Oh, sorry again. It's yeah, it's double clicking again. So let, let me just Control Z, Control Z. So just drag this up and that's it. So see, that's a, a rock. So yeah, of course it's it's ugly, but uh, you, yeah, we can still you know we can adjust this a little bit. For example, um, we can edit edit the shape of that so it's not you know mirrored. So we can just uh, maybe delete this. We just do a a different shape. Okay, so something like uh, this. Okay, so finish. So now you can see it actually yeah still quite very similar to the base but uh, slightly different right so so maybe you can just do some you know crazy shape or yeah, I don't know ah <laughs> oh, it's yeah it's not working properly okay so yeah that's 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 all <laughs> so yeah so it's very ugly um, but um, I think for early stage probably yeah you can you can you can create some 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 of these type of you know family so you can later on you can place them in your project okay so yeah so I think I guess probably spend a little bit time and find some you know free um, noise uh, not not doesn't need to be very complicated it's more like a schematic more like uh, or even these these are okay and then yeah some, something like these will be fine so like uh, with different different shape so these these are perfect so for our project right so just to to um, show the the idea right so uh, where am I sorry yeah so yeah something like that so um that's all for today and just uh, yeah I need to go back because I need to give credit to I think uh, I download here I download this one I believe so that's from class okay and I also down the other ones I think it's oh, hang on this one uh, quite similar this one yeah, the 3D factory Y. Okay, so, yep. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, uh, if, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.